Thank you, Paige. Well, Manitowoc and the Lakeshore got an economic boost this weekend thanks to some high flying excitement. The 19th year of the Thunder and the Lakeshore Air Show wrapped up today, and its success has a lot to do with the weather. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz explains. One thing can often make or break an outdoor Wisconsin event, and it is no different for Manitowoc's Thunder on the Lakeshore. Well, we try to make it when the weather's nice. Well, the weather's really cooperated with us, and after some years where it's always been marginal, it's great to have two gorgeous days of sunshine. In 2010, a few years of rough weather had the Manitowoc Air Show somewhere it would only like to be literally up in the air. With better conditions last year, organizers say a second straight year of clear skies will help the events fly high into its 20th anniversary next summer. Last year we financially came out okay, which uh, helps us build a better show this year. When rain washed out much of the air show in 2009, organizers say it was a $35,000 loss. Thunder on the Lakeshore relies entirely on corporate sponsors. The show's budget is between $150,000 and $200,000. It's the biggest tourism event in Manitowoc County and has an economic impact of several million dollars for the people coming to town. So it's, it's a, big, a big thing for the community. It's awesome to be back here and seeing it all over again. Admission to the event is $5. Organizers say the price hasn't changed in about 10 years, but they might raise the rate for next year. In the past couple of years, we talked about raising them, but the economy's been so bad. We didn't want to cut into what people could afford. Even if the prices go up, people say they will still come. To see the planes. But of course, they say the weather must cooperate. In Manitowoc, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News.